I was brought to the pastor yes. because the place was so full na me ni spot from the place I was seated yes. that you you been running away from God nikashikaniwa akanielekea tena chini e? so that whole week mm. vile nimeenda sasa job kukakuwa na issues aya kwa kazi so by the time mwezi ishe yes. tumekosana na boss tumekosana na watu wa kazi sijui nini sijui makasta sijui nini i don't know what was really happening now you ask yourself are you moved from drugs you moved to a new salon yeah. you met born again people yeah you got a baby yeah. and the baby has died ah kauza mungu haje they called me from the studio mm. now the boys are coming with somebody called uh, Jasper Mudomi mm. because he was not an mc by that time na na mnakutana wapi nikamwambia mimi i'm working in this place yes. so we can meet mm. sasa wase wewe church okay ashers wakakuja kasema ni wewe unaitwa nikaenda mimi from the day i was born up now probably to that time yes i could say mimi naonaanga pasta kekelea tu mikono wanaanguka kuzai na hapana haisiwezi watu ni kujiangusha wala ni kujiangusha na jiangusha ngai ni kujifanya <laughs> so when when he, when i was brought to the pastor yes because the place was so full na me ni spot from the place I was seated yes. that you you been running away from god yeah do you know alinishika yeah uski nilangoka kwa simiti eh hey. nilianguka i felt the skin nilianguka yeah na sikuumia akasema bring him again nikashikaniwa akanielekea tena chini i i'm bringing him again mara ngapi nasikia my consciousness is telling me ameniita mara ya tatu mm. akaniita akanishikilia nikaanguka ah now uh-huh. when you are new in anything mm. you don't know what happens mm. from that time i started bumbling and speaking in tongues mm-hmm. i came to realize it was speaking in tongues yes yes and then after that kakapo nikakapo kusimama nikajisikia sikuumia yes. kama angalia nikashindwa ai what was going on yeah. what happened i've been running away from god and god wants to use me this is 2004 yeah haya nikatika simama then the, the, the pastor said those people were wameombewa yeah. please come on sunday muombewe yes. mm. be led to christ blah 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 yes ai so now that's a friday mm. a saturday then sunday i went to that church mm-hmm. na naenda peke yangu mimi hata siongei siambi mtu siambi my wife siambi hao vijana sadi atakuwa tunaenda job kwa tunashinda tu kwa nyumba mm-hmm. nikaenda church when i went there the pastor said yes visitors stand hata kama ulikuja during the week stand when you visit away ulikuja ngio mimi kasimama uh-huh. one thing she the, the lady said eh, because it's our lady yeah. alisema fast karibuni sana thanks for coming yeah, yeah. na hiyo kitu ulikuwa umekalia yeah the pastor of this church has said ni yako Mm. Ukikuja next Sunday ukalia wapi? Hapo. Aha. Kiti ni yako kwa kanisa. <laughs> Haya, the same city nimekalia. Eh. Haya, then tukakaribishwa tukaenda kunywa chai, yes. tukaenda. So that gave me uh-huh. encouragement. Yes. Nimekuwa na kiti eh ya kukalia eh. Yes. Si next Sunday nitakuja na nimebambika tu kuko hapo. Mm. Haya. So that whole week mm. vile nimeenda sasa job kukakuwa na issues. Aya kwa kazi. So by the time mwezi ishe, yes. tumekosana na boss, tumekosana na watu wa kazi. Sijui nini, sijui makasta, sijui nini. I don't know what was really happening. Kumbe it was things coming up so that I leave that place yeah. to disconnect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the mix ni ni ka design. Yeah. Hapa nafaa nitoke kabla into kosani na kila mtu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to another place somewhere there in town. Mm. Nikauliza kazi, kama mm. yeah, yeah, you, you can come here. Mm. These people are born again. Yes. Where I'm coming from they are not born again. Yes. This is a couple. Yeah. Uh, this is a Christian couple. Yeah. My wife is expecting. Yes. Nimeacha pombe yes. for all those days. Mm. Nimeenda kanisa mm. wacha nikuja hapa. Yes. See I went there. That's yeah. 2004. Yeah. Then you know things happen so these mm. things happen mm. a lot in one year. Yeah, yeah. In one year you can do a lot. True. So 2004 nikaenda hapo, kafanya fanya hapo towards November. Yes. I think I worked for about the uh, August, September, October somewhere mm. there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I realized they are born again. Kambi hata mimi nimeokoka. Yes. And because they knew my CV yeah. of best hairdresser. Mm. So my clients mm. nikaanza kuambilia. Yes. Magical because as a, if you have a dentist, yeah. you don't want to go to your dentist at Akiyama. True. If you have a baba who normally does your hair yeah, yeah. and he has been doing it for probably three years. Mm. At Akiyama si unamfuata. Mm, so people followed me. Yeah. So the salon was new became very busy yeah. because of me. Yeah, yeah. And then, then I remember that's a time you know we are expecting a baby mm. towards december it's very busy in salons and mm. then 19th mm. 
of December. Yes. My wife was admitted at Kenyatta Hospital mm. and uh, we got a baby mm. and then it was a stillbirth. Mm. The baby, nowhere. Yeah. Hi. Now you ask yourself, you moved from drugs, you moved to a new salon, yeah. you met born again people, yeah. you got a baby, yeah. and the baby has died. Ah, how does it work? 2004, yeah. how does it work? How does it yeah. work? So unafikiria, unafikiria. So I went to the hospital and I told my wife, you know what? We have to agree. Yeah. It has happened. Nah, we have to move on. Yes. We agreed. Yes. Just the two of us. Yes. And then, you know, a few people encouraged us, mm. a few discouraged us. Yes. And uh, what do you do? You, 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 do just, you just sieve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the baby is dying. Mm. And we left, we went home. We yeah. mourned during December. This is the 19th of December, I remember the date. Mm -hmm. Towards Christmas, because you had already prepared for your yeah. baby, it's Christmas. You are happy. Aye, where? Happiness turned to. So when I went back, mm. I remember that Sunday evening, yeah. afternoon. Yes. I again went to the bar. Yeah. And I said, upon what I can you kimoja and it was stress. Eh, no mess is all day, as much as I can you kimoja. Nikaenda, Kwanza I can smell the bangi, the foot cigar, and I can you. You must care. Yeah. Eh? There's so much weight on you. Yeah, there's so much weight. Now I'm quiet. Yeah. I, I keep telling people silence is golden. Yeah. I quiet. Mm. Chupambili. Baridi. I remember. There are some things you can you cannot erase them. Yes. Nikanua packet ya sigara. Yes. Na bangi. Nikachukua hiyo chupa nikaifungua. Yes. Niko kwa meza yangu peke yangu it's around 3. Hapo sasa hizo hakuna watu wengi kwa bar. Kasema mm. sasa Mm. Juni mekuja, yes. ni kuja, nikuja sasa nitoe stress, mm. sasa nataka hii pombe itoke kwa glasi kuja kwa mdomo. Hii bangi na hii kiberiti mm. zijiwashe. Yeah. Na nikakaa hapo for about 30 minutes. Waiting for them to come because yeah. hata mimi naji challenge. Yeah, yeah. Nataka kukunywa lakini nataka sita zichukua yeah. nataka zitoke hapo. Yes. Zikitoka hapo zikunywe, yeah. zikuje kwa mdomo. Usikini nitakunywa. Ah, nitakunywa kabisa. Azikutoka hapo. I'm doing my own exam. Yes. Because of course all kukua na bangi kwa bani illegal ama mali popote mm. nikachukua hiyo bangi kana nikaitupa kwa cho. Yeah. Kwanza nika flash. Si pombe ziko kwa meza yeah. na kibedi na sigara. Yes. Si of course hapo ni mali inajulikana. Yes. Si mimi nikaziacha hapo. Mm. Kwa kwa nyumba. Kwa nyumba nikaingia. Nimeacha pombe, nimenunua na sigara na bangi. Eh. <laughs> Ushailia. You are not mourning your child. You are late baby. You are more, you nalia ile pombe. Nikalia. Nikalia. Hapo nikatoka. Sikama sisi nilikataa kukunywa. Eh. Sisi nilikataa kuja kwa mdomo. Yes. Sitakunywa tena. December ikaisha tukaanza January mm. 2005. Yes. 2005 ikaka kaendelea niko kwa ile salon mm. kitengeza of course celebrities yes. kwa magazeti. I'm just you know what we remember pole mm. pole. Then and now when the name is going this big and growing this big is it also corresponding to the lifestyle that you're living our it's a quagmire the, the, by the way when the name is growing you're also growing financially mm. you're also growing the way you dress oh, the way you the people you associate with uh -huh. the way you do your things the way you live everything was changing right. only that since ukunyi, the way you used to go to madari and drink changa mm -hmm. ama of your yes. you you're not doing all those as in the way you used to do them, yes. you you are doing them. It has graduated. To you have level. graduated, yeah. and you see when, they, when you graduate, of course you also graduate to new things, the new levels. Uh -huh. So they go hand in hand. Ata mtu akienda chini, una patanga na mabaya chini tu. True. So kipanda the same thing. So at uh, 2004, uh, sorry 2005, yes, around June. Yes. So before I get to June, mm -hmm. mwaka ikianza. Yes. You know the way you sleep and you start seeing. You have twins, mm. boys. Ah, yeah. You are like, Mototo ame past December, yeah. tuko January, February, you are seeing twins. Yeah. How? How? Ai? Unaono kewa na twins, tu vijana. Ai? Iyo ata kuambia bibi yako, ata kuuliza. Ata siyambi waifu, misi ongei. Ya tuongei, tujujio sasa ya mingi, ameru job, ya mimi ni kwa job. Tuapatana jioni. We mount, na tukamaliza, tunafanya nini. So, uh, na mimi na, 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 na church. Yeah. And then my wife, 
ananiangalia tu ana shida huko ndio aliacha pombe na anaenda kanisa hapo tu yeye anabaki kwanza sasa zingine aendi because ile level ilikuwa ya pombe mm. ilikuwa ya jua hata nikiambia mtu nimewacha ai ai wewe oh. <laughs> wewe juvenile zote you okay hata <laughs> yeah. it was a doubt issue yes. you know that you can tell people something then they are like no way mm-hmm. this can't happen hii yeah. hata Yesu akikuja haiwezi yeah. you are like you know yourself better than these people So it took a time yes. for even for my wife to know that nimeacha po yeah. pombe kulingana vile nilikuwa mm. cuz yes sasa anaweza sema hey huyu mm. ah huyu alikuwa sponge wengine wakisema nilikuwa sponge anaweza sema but now 2005 yeah. June 16 yes i remember i was with mongolo mm. and nameless yes they were in the salon yeah. and i was not doing nameless yeah. is here and it was in morning hours yeah. And then that salon that I was in Makombe ilikuwa ya watu wa Mwakoka they had tuned to this channel Op FM mm. then there were boys in studio yes who were being interviewed yes and those boys wanted you know somebody to cut their hair somebody yeah. to do this so I called the studio I took my phone I had a mobile phone at that time yeah, yeah. I took I called no calling a mobile to landline because yes. sikuwa na feel pinch ai ni sasa zile ulikuwa na kuwa na credit ya 100 hapana credit ilikuwa 250 if you remember Minimum. and the number was 072 akukwa na at two two these numbers were not there mm. so i took my phone yeah. i called the landline uh-huh. of that station kambia yeah. hey hey this was tina uh, i'm hearing a story you're doing there with the boys mm. personally you know i'm talking now you can guess as ngine mtu ajiange akipila anasema those boys were kitoka studio yeah. naweza nataka ni wa shave their hair yeah. and maybe i can do it for one year yes shaving their hair yeah. when they were three boys yeah, yeah. that's what i can give because that is what i have yes and uh, because i'm i'm a hairdresser and tina knew me yeah. and the name was big uh. So she was he spoke much about me. Talking about Tina Ogara. Or... Tina Nzuki. Oh Tina Nzuki. Right. Tina Nzuki. All right. Akasi ma wow. You know what's just called is one of the best addresses in the city Juvenaries. Yeah. Amesema ataonywa nywele after this. Yes. Eh? So after this mutapelekwa yes. na the then MC Jesse. Mm. Is MC Jesse was the one with, with them because also yeah. He, he was there doing a couple of things at the studio. Yes. Haya So it's morning hours the mm. show ended at 10 o'clock. Mm. So before they finished it was around 11 mm. towards 12. Yeah. They called me from the studio. Mm. Now the boys are coming somebody called uh, Jasper Mudomi mm. because he was not an MC by that time. Na na mnakutana wapi? Nikamwambia me I'm working in this place yes. so we can meet. Mm-hmm. Now Tina told me the boys have been given lunch mm. by Kosewe. Yes. At Pemali karibu na Nation Media. Mm. Mali iko. Mm. So they'd go there and have lunch then they come to come to your place so you can meet them there you bring them. Mm. I was like okay so I talked to the management come here now you've had me calling studio mm. yeah so I love to leave because awange ni kataza. Yes. I ni kama mimi ndio nimeshikilia salon I'm mm. making so good sales. Yes yes. I'm yes. making good money there. Yes. And nikatoka kamazana kina nameless come let me go meet those boys blah 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 you know they went mm. and I went. I went to Kosewe. Mm. That other place I used to know because I used to go for lunch there. Yes, yes. So nikaona kwa sababu ah habari mzuri nikamwambia nao eh kuna watu wanatoka Op FM wanakuja hapa. Mm. Ah ni wewe? Nikamwambia well the one aletwa na nikamwambia tu ni mimi eh. Yeah. Mm. Himself. Mm. And I really need to go and see him one of these good days, you know. He organized a table yes. and lunch time that place is busy mm. and they reserved it say no this table is for the boys coming from the studio. Eh. Wakakuja. Eh. So we call them chokora. <laughs> See I used to look like that many years ago. Yeah. Ai nikawaona nikajioni. Wakakuja wakaketi. Yeah. Three boys and now Jesse. Yeah. Wakaketi. Yeah. Nobody else and me. Uh-huh. Eh? Hey, Chakula ikaletwa. The way they are eating <laughs> is they have never eaten <laughs> for three days. <laughs> Wakakula mimi nawaangalia tu. Yeah. Sema oh my god. You know the way you know when you you graduate you yeah. start seeing things like atc where we see we're going to be bila viatu yeah. unasahau you know we forget yeah. so it kind of i forgot how i was yes they had they were dirty they were wearing the t-shirts from that studio mm-hmm. and um, I, I, something was asking me yes juvenaries you will go cut the hair now because this hair looks like bad mm. where will you get them after the hair grows now i was brought the, jesse came with a list of the people who had called yes to support in okay. one way or the other because yes. the boys they really wanted to get out of the streets mm. i was given the list mm. eh? the first name was a friend of mine mm. whom i used to do her hair 
mm. who owns a, a school. It's, I think, Ross of Sharon. Mm. She had said she'll pay rent for them for six months. Mm. I, I checked, I had her number. I called her. I said, you know, you, I've gotten the boys. Ah, hi, Juvenari is hi. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Me, I'm the one who has been brought the boys. They are here. Yes. They, okay, organize you come and pick the money. Yeah. How can I do a check? Said, no, no, no. Check, partner. <laughs> Let me come for the cash. Yes. I'll send somebody to come and pick the money. So yeah. I told Jesse. Yeah. I gave Jesse the money. Yeah. He went to where the Ross of Sharon is, Upper yeah. Hill, and took the money. Yeah. So the house that we wanted to get was around, because she told us, go get a house yeah. and tell me it's how much. Yes. That's around now the, during the discussion mm -hmm. as the boys are having lunch. Yes. So we divided. Yeah. I told my workplace, I'm yes. not coming back. Yes. I used to do charity to children's homes. Yes. So I used to know a place called Shangilia Pototo Africa in Kangemi. Mm. So I called the director because he, he has also called mm. so that he'll give some mattresses and blankets for the boys. Yes. Three. Yes. Yeah. So the people who had already called is people who had kind of seen and met mm. and interacted with them because my name was big. They were in your network in some way. They were in my network in some point. Mm. And because of my also name, yeah. it was easy to was easy. talk to them. Yeah. This is Juvenaris. Oh, hi, Juvenaris. Yeah. Oh, you know. Yeah. So it, it was so easy. It was like a, it was a, like a walkover. Mm. So we went to, MCGC went for the money. Mm. I told MCGC, go and tell her it's around 3,000 mm. rent. Yes. Because I don't, according to the, where we're going to get, because mm. Mauliza, Mr. Njenga, that is the director of Shangilia, mm. they're around two, five to 3,000. Mm. So six months yes. time, Three. That's eight, around eighteen k. That's at, around eighteen thousand. Yeah. MC Jesse, I can understand now the the, the current MC Jesse. Mm. Mimi now vijana to kind of kangemi. Mm. Cinema tattoo. Yes. To kafika po now shangilia a place I know. Can be a, these are the boys. They can get na yeah yeah. Can be well. You can get a house near here. Mm. I'll give you mattresses, three of them, yes. and then they can be coming here to eat. Mm. Now, mm. you know, he started kind of mentoring me. Mm. Wakitulia. Yes. Unaweza was tunaweza kwa tunawasaidia. Yeah. The way you normally mobilize people and visit, yeah. unaweza kuwa na mobilize friends, mm. una saidia wa vijana. Mm. Eh? Dog. MCGC went, then we talked to the person who was supposed to give money. Mm. Kabea, yes, we are getting a house that yes. we are part of nyumba ya 2-5. Yes. But now you can do 3,000 because of electricity and mm. water. So, well, I passed first three months, yes. then I love gain pay yes. three months. Si akapea na pesa. Si tukapata nyuma behind shangilia mtoto wa Afrika. Si nikalipa rent. Nikalipa rent, nikalipa kila kitu, nikachukua matresses. The same day, June 16. Yeah. Because this day is the day Africa celebrates the day of the African child. That's how now we had connected. Because you may ask, how did I connect to the boys from the studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haya, nikawacha kwa nyumba that day. Si mi nikaenda sasa nyumbani. Yes. Following day, nikaenda job. Yes. Kila kabla nitoke kwa nyumba, nikabeba tumanguwa nilikuwa natuo. Yes. Then, nikaenda job, nikafanya kazi, nikaenda what happened. Then, after in the evening, sa nikakua niko busy. Si niko na ule Jesse. Tuka shikana, nikaenda kwa wavijana, kwa pata wako. Yeah. Kwa patia manguwa. Yeah. It was like, you know, like a simple house. Do you have a name? No. Do you even know what is going on? No. But now, this director of Shangilia told me, you can keep pushing this because you look like you're very compassionate. Unapenda kusaidia sana. Yes. And you can you can move on. Yeah. Allah, do you know what is going on? Haya, a week went on, and then the second week, so towards the end of the month, Yes. 2005 June, towards the end of the month, Yes. I was like now putting things into perspective. Into perspective, yeah. Yeah. Talking about it, then July came, August, then we started sitting down with Jesse mm. and asking, how do we do it? How do we call it? How, how do we formalize? Yes. So I'm just coming with ideas. Mm. Then I told Jesse, you know, I like the way they are looking, like they are transforming. Mm. And uh, I remember myself, mm. I was like this and I changed, look at me now. Mm. And uh, also these boys, when I end up, when I end up, when I end up, and there's these biscuits I like, I liked to eat, mm. called nice. Mm -hmm. Nice biscuit. Yeah, yeah. And now these boys are from the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I took the word street. Mm -hmm. Remember, I, was, I said earlier I was good in literature yes. and grammar. Uh -huh. So I took the word street, yes. and then nice. Yes. And I decided, you know, nice is a nice biscuit. Mm -hmm. It's a it's, it's tamu. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And I don't encourage people to eat it alone. Oh, man, no. Yeah, I yeah. remember I also lost mine. Mm -hmm. You eat it with, with style. Yeah, yeah. So nice biscuit, yeah. street, 
yeah. connect the word mm. street nice yeah. uh, we learned about sounding words yeah. and vowels and all those things mm. so mm. i decided remove the c yeah. put a z yeah. uh-huh. we, we are doing it on a list with jesse i'm telling you remove the c put a z yeah. mm-hmm. street nice okay why did it sound hard r s so you street nice them so street yeah. nice us all right that's how the name came up because people wow. ask me how did the name come up you don't sit down and start explaining yeah it's street and nice nice you st- pick this person from the yeah. street then you make him nice yeah okay wow. that's, that's how the name concept. came up yeah wow. even your genie nearly tengeneza that's mm-hmm. actually genius very genius and then i wanted something that looks big yeah for it is three boys yes and i'm healing from the death of my child yeah. and i'm just doing things because i, I want to fill my voidness mm. ah yeah street nizers mm. ministry okay wow transformation center yeah because this is a place that it come and change yes. trans yeah. it's 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 you transist you remove this information and put this you transfer it you put the information which is needed yes. okay well, i have stopped drugs yes they will stop drugs Yeah. I go to church they will go to church. Yeah. I am smart looking they will look smart. So I, I those are the things we started forming with, yeah. with the, now the the MC the, yes. the current uh, the MC Jesse. Yes. Then 2006 ended yeah. and uh, thank God we again we are blessed with a child mm-hmm. a baby girl. Yes. This is the month of September that is the 2006 September mm-hmm. we got a baby with my wife again yeah. and uh, she's she's a big girl today. Yeah. And this thing started growing. Mm-hmm. Then I decided mm-hmm. because I'm dealing with children yeah. or boys, yes. why do I do formalization? Mm-hmm. It's a process. Remember it's 2005, 2006. So by the end of 2007, yes. I registered as a CBO mm. because it's good to formalize with the government. Mm. And then things started moving up. Mm. Now, sema could deal sasa na my issues. Uh-huh. Na issues. <laughs> from kangemi yeah. we have grown these boys have gone to the street they walikuwa na toroka wanaenda tao yeah. wanaleta wengine yes. nikikuja jioni napata watoto ni vijana ni watano haya si ni mali sasa waweza kuletana eh, eh mali wanakula wanalala the house became small yeah, yeah. all of a sudden we in a rent kwa tunalipwa 6 months ikakatika katika yeah. ah things started going south Uh, things started going down so i started started using my own money talking to people yeah. what mtu anakuja because i thought when you have a helping charity thing yeah people will bring you support like chika mm. chika chika charity eh na charity ha shock on you yeah it shock on me <laughs> even the clients who are my celebrities and those top people are giving mtu anakuja anapatia kwa sababu ya mbili next time uh-huh. anakanyagia things started becoming tough yeah. 2007 then Towards the end of 2007 2008 yeah same post election by that time we have moved from Kangemi mm. to another place mm. and we have become probably the boys are about 15 would you have meletana na utaki kuwafukuza because you are now compassionate mm. that compassion that I was in school yes so around 2008 2007 you know what happened in Kenya yeah Kenya started burning now i have boys mm. things are not good in Kenya. Yeah. There is skirmishes everywhere. Yes. Then one boy, yeah. a case was reported, yeah, who had gone through injuries. Yes. And then a good friend from this church that I used to go, yes, that is this Jubilee Christian Church yes. and a bishop Kuna, mm. knew what I was doing. Mm. So because he was in the media, mm. he decided to bring that boy to me. Yeah. Because he had injuries. Yes. Eh, when he brought the boy he yeah. told me what I'm going to do also I'm going to feature you yes with the way you've taken this boy yeah. during those skirmishes mm. and you know media media yeah. is so powerful mm-hmm. so this friend of mine called Caleb mm. featured me mm-hmm. and that's the time that this media house was starting this K24 mm-hmm. so he featured me on K24 yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. eh guess what happened uh-huh. 2007 2008 was like to me it was like even opened mm. things just opened mm-hmm. people from edoret where where came women children mm. boys yeah, yeah, yeah. traveled to street nizers ala within a week yeah i had over 100 people within a week because the place we were there was like a small ground yeah and there was the like a facility yes. to accommodate about 40 people mm-hmm. i 
I was like, what is going on? Because I just, what are you going to do? We have been featured. The good thing, mm. the networks I had, mm. somebody saw the story. Yeah. He called Kenya Red Cross. Mm. He told them, have you seen that story? Mm -hmm. That young man? Yeah. So he spoke on my behalf. Yes. Hey, kusema Kenya Red Cross kukuja. Mm -hmm. Seba kuletewa chakula. Wow. Chakula tulikula karibu six months. Wow. They came with rories. Because we came like a kind of IDP. Yeah. But now I'm dealing with boys. Yeah. So when they came, mm -hmm. I told them, the directors and the, the, the team that came from Kenya Red Cross, I told them, yes, you've given me all this. Mm -hmm. But here, I don't want to accommodate mothers and girls. Mm -hmm. I want to accommodate the boys. Yes. So how many boys are here? They are around, they have about 15. Yes. But now they have come, they're about 20. Yes. So they came, they were about 40 mm -hmm. boys. Yes. I was given mattresses, blankets, basins, milk, foods. Mm. So these other women were taken to another IDP place. Mm. Then their boys were left there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how we just grew an overnight. Yeah, yeah. Because I've been featured on the social media, yeah. on, on that TV station. Yeah, yeah. Help us come. Mm. I'm, I'm already with a, with a certificate. Yes. And now, you are giving help. So yes. 2008 was so much work for me. Mm. Remember, I'm also working in the salon. Yes. Then we went on streamlining things. MC Jesse got a breakthrough. Mm. He became now MC Jesse through yes. the screenizers. Mm. He became MC Jesse. He went. Then I started looking for people who can be, be of course, compassionate like me to yeah. come and help. Mm -hmm. We moved on and on. 2009, 2010, 2011. Then 2011. I was like, I'm being overwhelmed. Yeah. I'm doing street nicers. Yes. I'm doing air dressing. Yeah. Those both sides, I'm busy. And you're, st you're still with the with the same Christian couple on the on the work. Yes, I'm still working in the same wow. place. I'm still working in the same place. I happened in Little Lia. So I said, I I just slept and heard. Mm. You have to leave this hairdressing. Yeah. And do this. And whatever you need is in here. Ah, helping <laughs> the car, the house, the what, the what, the salon is in here. Hi. There's some things that when God speaks to you, it's really they don't make sense. Yeah. They don't. And that's why sometimes it's very important to hear God for yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you hear God by yourself, yes. I keep telling people, wait for people to come and confirm. Mm -hmm. Don't speak it. Mm -hmm. Don't share it first. Mm -hmm. Keep quiet. Yes. So of some of the things I was doing, I was not sharing a lot. Mm -hmm. Even with my wife, I mm -hmm. could keep quiet because it is me. Yeah, who have yeah. been called. Mm. It is not a, or it is not my friend. True. I'll tell you this is what is going on. Mm. So if it touches your heart, yes. let's move on. Well, if it doesn't, yeah. like we walk with MC Jesse, yeah. that was not the path for MC Jesse. True. He told me, hey, you know what, Juminaris, this is my path. Mm. He left. Yes, yes. Then I was left to move on with the street mm. And because of my persistence and consistency, yeah. I said, no, says the Acha. So from there, 2011, I start battling. I'm, want to leave this? Can I leave this? Ah, I heard it clearly. Yeah. 2012. Yeah. Because customers are not your clients. Nani nyuele? Nani you don't want to so confuse. You're in yeah. the middle of confusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, me I quit. My, 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 the team, me, I'm leaving your dressing. From the salon I was, Mm. It was now, the, it was a different salon called Exquisite at Kenya Cinema. Yeah. Uh, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya Reinsurance, no, Kenya 20th Century. Yeah, yeah. I told the director, I have to leave. Uh -huh. Yes, you are supporting me. I have to go. Mm. Uh, and I remember that the, the, the director, some of the owners of the Exquisite, Exquisite Salon. Yes. They gave me, you know, shelves. Mm. They gave me so many towels. Yes of which the shelves are still there up to today. Mm. And they kept on supporting us, yes. even today. The, the, the directors of that, the owners of Exquity Salon, which is now at the Hilton Hotel, yes. which currently is Hilton, which is the, the tall building, mm. which the they are still Hilton there. Hotel. Uh, they are, yeah, the one former, former Hilton. Mm. So I had to tell them I'm to leave, to concentrate yeah. with this one. Mm -hmm. I, I have heard, let me push this. Yes. And uh, I was released. So I quit mm -hmm. hairdressing yes. to push Street Nizers, 2012. After quitting, <laughs> eh? Eh. things like open up. Wow. Things became tough, hard. Eh? Auctioneers are there. You need rent for your house. You need food for your house. But I said, I heard <laughs> God say, uh -huh. leave yeah. and I shall supply. Oh, goodness. My wife sat me down and asked me, where, where? 
unaacha nywele tukule nini kambia god will supply <laughs>